I'm Ryan Henry for Data Prospecting, and for this video I'm going to show you some of the basics and advanced features of searching with Folio Views. Now to begin with, I'd like to explain a little bit about how Folio Views handles the searching. For example, when you go to Google and do a web ser a search, you put in a few words. And I'll do here an advanced query and put in gold standard, for example. And it shows us that there are 1,740 records with hits. Now on Google, it would show you that you, you're displaying one of 1,700 web pages. Well, for Folio, a record generally is a paragraph. It can actually be several paragraphs, depending on how the database designer laid out some of the things. But for all intents and purposes, a record is a paragraph. So this would show us that 1,740 paragraphs or records matched gold, and in this case just putting two words as gold and standard. So there we go, there's the first paragraphs that match what we're looking for. Now F4 moves the cursor to the various hits, and so a lot of times when you just see it start to moving from one hit to the next, I'll be hitting F4 takes you to the next one, Shift F4 takes you back. That's the, the basic movement of this within the search hits that I use. It's real fast. So there's a basic search, gold standard. Now these are the search terms. The search terms are applied across all records that you select. Now Folio lets you have some fun things to select what records you want. For example, by hitting the left bracket down here, or just typing one in, now it gives us a whole new selection criteria. In this database, I have groups set up per author. So if I top, type in here, there are 14,245 records that were written or authored by Lou Rockwell. So if I hit OK and come back up here to the table of contents, you can see that in the free market, he has all those articles on average, like that, 27 records would be one article from the from that edition of the free market. Or you come down to the daily articles, and you can see per year how many records there are that match. And roughly like these, these 30, 18, these would be one article. Or like the 90 might be several articles. So there's 24, 66, so that would be two articles for that month. So it's really handy to kind of see how big how broad of a search scope you're going to get just by looking at that. So I'm going to bring this back up, and now I'm going to type in gold. That limits us down to 287 records. Now standard. Now we're down to 173. Now we're still searching though just within the, the records from Lou Rockwell. Now if you come back over here, you can it shows you what the breakout is for each, for each uh, section of the info base. So, for example, right here, November of 99, there's the hit. Now, you can also do some fun things here. For example, with Folio, you can do synonym matching. So if I want gold, I can put a dollar sign after it, and now it's going to give me coin, metal, beaten, gold wealth, precious. So it gives you a lot more flexibility on the words you want to return back. You can also do a percent, and that does a, let's change the word here, and do drive, and do a percent, and now you'll see that with a percent on it, it'll turn back word roots, so even like drives and drove will get returned back. So it handles your tenses, or if you do like woman, it'll re return back women as well. You can do drive star, and that will get back everything that starts with those five letters. You can also do question marks, so you can do like, now you get woman and women, so you get both forms there with a question mark, making that one character a wild card. Or you could even do something like that with a double. Now, as far as applying your search to several records at once, I'm going to come in and do gold and standard. Now this time with double quotes around it, it has to be a phrase, and that's why you see fewer hits. But now I'm going to put slash 10. And what that's going to do is it's going to say, I want to see those two words within 10 records of each other. 
So now you'll see gold standard together, but now you'll see there's gold and standard. And as we come down, you'll even see somewhere one record has gold, and a few records later we'll have the word standard. And you can see where gold and standard are now separated. Anyway, you get the idea. That way you can actually search for, if you know that maybe the, the phrase you're looking for is not next to each other, but might be within a couple of paragraphs of each other. Let's see if I can do a... Now another one that you can do is you can do a pound here, and you can see we get much different hits. And I'm going to turn off the view all records, try to show this a little bit differently here. So you see here there is Macy's and Gold, but they're several records away from each other. So that, it gives you much more flexibility. Now also there are a lot of pop-ups, or the notes that you add yourself, or even the highlighters that you add. Now if I open up the advanced search dialog again, you can come in here and search. I'm going to only search in notes this time. Now let's do pop-ups first. I'm only going to search in pop-ups, and I want to search for the word bills. Now there are five pop-ups with that phrase in it. So now it'll jump you right to the pop-up, with the word highlighted for you. So if you add your own note, just making something up here, closing it, now I can also search in note for the word bills. And you can see the one new one that I just did brings up that record with that note highlighted. Now, you can also do highlighters. I'm going to just quickly create a new highlighter here. New. I'm just going to call it fun. Now I can come in and do a search and do a highlighter and I only have one highlighter right now, so I'm going to put fun in, and now I can type in any any word I want, like the word first, and now within just the text that I have marked as that highlighter, it highlights the words that I searched. So that lets you narrow your searching down, so you could highlight a couple of paragraphs uh, on whatever topic you want, and now over time as you highlight more and more paragraphs, you can go back and search and say, oh, this was in, within economics, I wanted to find you know, somebody talked about praxeology, and so you can narrow your search down just to within that highlighter. So this highlights just some of the things that you can do with folio views. As you get even more advanced in here, you can do some things with the level. You can do some things with headings that I haven't covered. Um, the footnotes that you, uh, that are within this document, I use fields. Uh, I'm not going to cover that right now, but just to let you know that, that there are even more options in your searching. So. Folio Views is very powerful in what it allows you to do, much more than what you can even do within a Google hit or with a Google search. And that's why we use it, because we think that it is one of the best programs out there for searching such content, especially when there's hundreds of megabytes or even gigabytes of information. Uh, Folio Views lets you search it, filter it, and access it very easily and quickly. Thank you.